Potter's Harry Potter book is due out in a few weeks' time. And before that, Harry and his friends will hit the big screen in The Order of the Phoenix. Well, Lisa has been chatting to Daniel Radcliffe about the movie. The fifth movie has the toughest competition of any of the films so far, going up against The Simpsons movie, Pirates of the Caribbean 3, Spider-Man 3 and the third Shrek film. But the cast and filmmakers here are confident that Potter can come out on top. It is, it is still very, very fresh and it's very different from the fourth one because while the fourth one was you know, very spectacular and things, this is a much darker, much more um, internal sort of emotional journey. Even though Harry saw his arch-enemy Lord Voldemort return at the end of the last movie, many people don't believe him, and he spends a lot of the film angrier than he's ever been before. He's very defensive, you know, when friends ask him things, because he feels like he's been abandoned by his friends over the summer holidays. When they talk to him, he, you know, he's very dismissive of them, and he's very dismissive of his, of his Ron and Hermione for a long time. What if the reason for it is that I am becoming more like him? I, I just feel so angry. It's not only Lord Voldemort he has to fight in this film. New Defence Against the Dark Arts teacher, Professor Umbridge, played by Imelda Staunton, is making his life at Hogwarts a misery. You will be learning about defensive spells in a secure, risk-free way. What use is that? If we're going to be attacked, it won't be risk-free. Students will raise their hands when they speak in my class. Um, Umbridge and Harry loathe each other. And, um, you know, Umbridge, on more than one occasion, tortures Harry. And it is just performs every sort of ghastly thing really imaginable, which is horrible. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix will be in cinemas on July the 12th. Look at me!